This video is sponsored by PCB Way. Today we are going to do a little meat pasting. The clay meat, the most popular material PLA leaks, leaks water. In today's video we take a look, is this actually true? And do not leave any questions into the air, we test all most common 3D printing materials in the same way. And even if it's true, can we do something about this? Well, this video is to answer both of those questions, so better let's get started. PLA leaks, what does this even mean? I show you one simple example. If you take a cup that is not 3D printed and fill this with water, the water is going nowhere. But if you take a cup that is 3D printed with PLA, the water will leak out from it. Even though the cup is not broken, there is no holes or visible defects. The water will leak out through the material itself. I really don't know if this is true, but I have heard this from the time when I started 3D printing, which is five years for now. I have always avoided PLA when the thing what I'm printing cannot leak or have to hold water. I just use some other material, for example ABS or BTG, like I did in the last summer with my speedboat. Even though I have used PLA for my water pumps, and <laughs> they, they leak from everywhere. For sure the material was not the main problem. So we are going to test will PLA actually leaks. And we are going to test this with those little boxes. For one material there are three boxes, with different wall thicknesses. The first one is 0.8 mm, the second 1.6 mm, and the thickest 4 mm. This will give us information, two printing model sticker helps with the leaking. The materials we are going to test are PLA, PLA+, PTG, ABS, ASA, nylon, carbon fiber nylon, and the really special filament that we have here only because of PCB way is PEAK. This filament is military level plastic. It's extremely hard to print, heat resistant, strong, and insanely expensive. That's why I have only two boxes with this material. I'm going to test them by hot gluing all of those boxes to a slightly bigger plastic box, and then fill this with water. After this, they will sit there for a long time. I'm going to check them after 30 minutes, 1 hour, 2 hours, 3 hours, 6 hours, and then I go to home and come back next day and check them again. Probably it will be after 24 hours. I actually leave them there for days, and when I'm working with other stuff, and something interesting happen, I will let you know. Oh, and by the way, if you're wondering what this thing is in the middle. Well, at first I was over-engineering this simple desk. I plan to use aluminium rods and hang them to the water. But then I realized by myself that I'm overthinking it. So I made it way, way more simple. They are in the water now and the only thing to do is to just wait and keep the A on them. Meanwhile we are waiting, it's perfect time to thank PCB Way for sponsoring this video and providing me peak for this testing. From PCB Way you can order custom high quality PCBs that will ship to you in no time. But this is not all they do. PCB Way also has 3D printing, CNC machining, sheet metal fabrication and even injection molding service. Ordering something from PCB Way is just so simple. First you select how you want your part to be produced, upload your 3D model, select the material and you're basically done. The selection of the materials are huge, from basic filaments to engineering resins straight up to metals. PCB Way got you covered in any case scenario. Thanks to PCB Way I had chance to make my video so much better by using their ultra transparent resin. I mean just look at it, it's 3D printed but it looks like a glass absolutely amazing. So if you need something but you don't have right skills, machines or tools to make it by yourself, PCB Way is your one-stop solution. But for now, first 30 minutes have passed and it's time to check have BLA actually leaked. Okay, it's not actually 30 minutes. Those test examples have been in water for only 14 minutes and we already see stuff happening. The thinnest 0.8 mm box that is printed with regular BLA is already leaking rapidly. It's not just a drop of water, the whole floor is flooded. Also the thinnest PLA plus just started leaking a bit. The rest of the materials haven't leaked. By the way, my original idea was to check them after 30 minutes, 1 hour and so on. But a little plan changed because the next recording happened after 10 minutes. So we are 24 minutes into the test. The thinnest regular PLA is half full and PLA plus also keeps leaking, but not as fast as the regular one. 
By the way, something interesting happening with the nylon. The thinnest box has a little drop of water over there. It's a bit hard to record, but you might see it. And the 1.6mm nylon box is half full. Well, for sure it cannot be real, because how the 1.6mm leaks faster than 0.8mm, almost at the same rate as regular PLA. Something is wrong with this box. This is only explanation why this is leaking how it's leaking. Maybe had some under extrusion at some layers or something, I don't know for now, but we test nylon again with multiple different boxes printed with different 3D printers. But now we are 40 minutes into the test and the thinnest regular PLA box have leaked as much as it possibly can. Because the water level inside and outside of the box are pretty much equal. Also the thinnest PLA plus have leaked more. Not as much as regular PLA, but it's constantly leaking just a bit slower rate. Also the 1.6mm regular PLA is now leaking, but PLA plus remains empty. The 1.6mm nylon box is completely full now, but we don't take this seriously and give any attention to the nylon anymore because we will rerun the test a bit later. Those boxes have been in almost one hour and nothing remarkable hasn't happened. Just the 1.6mm regular PLA keeps leaking. I keep the A on them for a couple of hours more, but didn't happen anything to record. With a little editing magic, those boxes have been in water now for 24 hours. Unfortunately, hot glue failed for two boxes. One of them was 1.6mm PLA plus and the other 1.6mm carbon fiber nylon. Still we can confirm that the carbon fiber nylon didn't leak because this one is empty and the thinnest one also. But 1.6 PLA did leak. The test for this one is still ruined because it was not in the water as it's supposed to be. But the water is still in there so it did leak. Regular PLA 0.8 and 1.6 are full and 4mm remains empty. Also 0.8mm PLA plus is almost full. The rest of the materials remains empty. I know it's kinda hard to keep the track of it, so the test results are on the screen. So we can confirm PLA and PLA plus are leaking water. And the rest of the materials, ABS, ASA, PTG, carbon fiber nylon and PEAK don't leak water. Nylon is not confirmed yet. The test turned out kinda unorganized mess, like my life. <laughs> but we did get the answer to the main question. Does PLA leak? And the answer is yes. PLA does leak. It was a big surprise for me how fast PLA actually leaked. It was a matter of minutes. PLA plus also leaked, but a bit slower rate. But it doesn't matter because the difference was not so huge. Now the question is, can we do something about this? Can we make PLA water tight? I'm pretty sure we can. And my idea how to do it, to use some spray clear coat. I did print two more boxes with PLA. I didn't print the 4mm one because after 3 days it still hasn't leaked. So it's not really needed. So I clear coated those fresh PLA boxes with two thick coats. I made sure every single spot is nicely covered. Then I left them 24 hours to cure. Meanwhile I was printing new nylon boxes. I'm not sure what happened with the nylon last time. So this time I 3D printed 3 pairs of it with 3 different 3D printers. I used GTDEC Q1 Pro, Reality K1 and K1C. This makes the parts more unique from each other and we can get more reliable results out of it. I run the test exactly the same way as I did before. I hot glued those boxes to a bit bigger box, poured the water in, started the timer and just wait. After around 6 to 7 minutes, one 1.6 nylon box that was printed with GTDEC Q1 was almost full. Same time 0.8 box remained completely empty and the rest of the boxes including PLA2. I keep the A on them for more couple of hours and nothing happened. Like the hot glue came loose for multiple boxes so I had to add some weight on top of them. But after this I went away and I planned to come back next day. Well it didn't happen because of my personal stuff and I came back after 3 days. I disassembled everything and checked for the leaks. Like I messed up with two of the boxes. Because they popped up and fell over and some water got into them. But they had not leaked, they were empty. That's why they pop up like this. If they were full they wouldn't. Every box was completely empty being in water 3 days row. So it means nylon, the material doesn't leak. Even though the nylon is heavily hydroscopic, this doesn't mean it leaks. But still the fact that 3 out of 9, aka 1 third of the boxes, did leak. This cannot be fully ignored. Yes, nylon, the material itself doesn't leak, but this doesn't mean that the nylon prints cannot leak. Just be extra careful printing nylon next time and keep this in mind. For BLA, clear coating definitely helped and this is the way to go. I also 3D printed 3 faces out of BLA. They are printed with waste mode which means they are only one wall layer thick aka 0.4mm. 
One of them I keep it like it is. This is the control. Second one I clear coat it with the spray, as I did with the PLA boxes. And then the last one I mixed up some clear coat and pour it in. Then I move it around to make sure every spot of the wall is nicely covered. By the way, there is one way more to stop them from leaking. There is chemical called Ditch Tool. This is specially designed to stop FTM prints from leaking. Sadly, I cannot test this because they were out of stock. Some shops that had this in stock, they didn't ship to Estonia. So I just didn't get my hands onto this. YouTube channel called CBS Drone just recently tested this. So if you are interested, I leave the link down below. To wrap this all up, first of all, PLA does leak. But what if you want to, example, build the RC boat and not make it sink instantly? What can you do? The absolute best option is to use other material, like PTG, which is really similar to PLA. But let's say you cannot use anything else than PLA. Then just treat this properly. My recommendation is to use some clear coat. It's just so easy and cheap. By the way, in the last summer I did build the RC boat. Even though I 3D printed this with ABS, I still did everything to make this completely watertight. I covered everything what I was doing there. So if you are interested, I highly recommend to watch this video. I hope you did learn something new in this video. I definitely did while making it. So hit the like to the video and subscribe to the channel if you did like the video, of course. By the way, make sure you don't miss my next video. I'm going to do something so stupid there that I'm worried by myself. So yeah, see you guys there if I'm still alive. But for now, bye.